just wanted to show you this TSM trick for when you're buying the boulders every week. You could also use it to buy and resell the items needed for the boulders. If you come into TSM and settings and come to your profiles, you can create a new profile so it won't mess with what you've already started. I'm going to show you how it works and then I'll show you how I set it up. You just go on these and it'll click the amount that you need for the quest. If you buy them ahead of time, you get them a lot cheaper. You can see this is 83% of normal value, 94%. And then the ones that are for this week, you can see are up higher, 108% and 124%. Because people buy them out and then resell them. But you could buy these ahead of time. And then you could actually just go put them in your bank and you could turn the quests in right from your bank. So I'm going to move all of those to my bank. So they're not messing up my bag space. I like to do the buying towards the end of the week because the prices usually go down towards the end of the week, even for the ones that are still active. You can just turn them in. It doesn't matter if the items are in your bag or your bank, it still turns in. And turn in the second one. And if you don't know, these barter boulders are for this vendor here. He has a lot of things he trades, including pets and mounts, but there's crafting things. There's knowledge points that you can buy. And then there's the timeshares and the cream that you can use to buy specialty items for crafting from the crafting vendors. You could also get barter boulders from this vendor. You can trade your resources for it. If you use TSM, you can just go max and buy them it's easier you could also get barter boulders from doing digs with with Mert Merit whatever his name is and from just picking up chests here in Loam now I'm going to show you how I set it up I have the names of all the quests that they offer and then this is the number that it's going to buy because this particular quest needs 10 shovels you just put the maximum restock quantity there. If you wanted to sell them, you could change that to a higher, like 100. And then when that quest is active, you would sell them because they're up at a higher price. Um, I put all of my items that I have on my regular profile just in a folder called character stuff just to get it out of the way. And that one's not set up to buy or sell anything. So here's the enchants for Enchanted Tells when that quest is open. You need five of each of those, so it's set to buy five. Again, you just change your restock quantity if you wanted to buy and then resell for a profit. That sources would include what's in your bank, and then the auctions would include what things you have up for auction already, you do need to be careful with that because it'll include what your alts have up for auction. You might not care about your alts, so uncheck it if you have alts that have auctions running also. That 
one's set to buy 75. Now these ones have different items that need different amounts. So if a gem isn't pretty, the emerald and the alkstrazite need five and the silken gem dust need 30, I believe. But so I have it set up in two groups, one to buy, oh, 50, one to buy 50 and then the other to buy the five. I know this video is coming a little late. In season three, I don't know if these items will be the same or if this will even exist anymore at all or if people will even care about it, but for right now, it's still useful, at least to me. For resale, I have this Smart Average Buy set up. It's just gonna sell it for 110% of what you bought it for on average based on the amount that you still have in your inventory. So Misty's Mix Magic is the same thing. It's got multiple items with different amounts. So I have two, a group and a subgroup. Same with Road to Season City. That's how you set it up. If you wanted to set it up yourself, if you just would like my TSM string, I have that in my post section on my community page. You can just copy and paste it. Just remember that you go into settings and create a new profile, call it bartering boulders or whatever you'd like and create a different profile so you're not messing up anything that you already have existing. This is the one that I have set up for selling, and it just has higher amounts of everything. So not what you would need to turn in the quest, but more, so that I could resell them. All of these just have 110% smart average buy. That way you're not losing gold. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you around the Dragon Isles.